birds. I had set out to shoot photographs of migrating birds in farm fields, but after driving down a dead-end road I'd never been on before, I heard it. The sound of salmon jumping in the nearby river. For a good 20 minutes or so, I got a kick out of watching that little white dog. Quite clearly, the salmon held his attention too. Back and forth, he'd work the edge of the boat, his keen eye unfazed. Sometimes, he even seemed to turn to look at a jumping fish before the fish would jump. If he were my dog, I might name him Sonar. Back and forth, his master's boat would go over the short stretch of river before me, diligently working this October jumping patch. Yes, the silvers are in, and they let you know it. While the wary pink salmon, which began arriving about a month earlier, now barely break surface, then dip below. Fish are not all that's popping up on the Snohomish. In short time, frogs seem to announce the arrival of nightfall. Momentarily drowned out only by the sound of a passing boat returning to the launch. A light rain intensified a bit, and I kept my jacket over my camera to keep my gear from getting wet. Not a bad place to enjoy daylight's final hour on the first Sunday of October. A slippery, muddy patch of shoreline, sitting upon something that felt more like a lump of wet clay than dirt, I loved every minute of it. The birds can wait.